I'm home caught, just dead in trial. Why ain't I see you around? Face. Mm -hmm. Like when face <laughs> left, nigga, I, he let me get on face helmet. You know did what I mean? You? What'd you get on face helmet for? Cause face did a song with Too Short called uh -huh. uh, called something. They both was on my helmet. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Face came through my, cause he a left rap a lot. You yeah, know what I mean? So yeah. he started talking shit about me and shit, subliminals. Why? Like, so oh. why you think Face was talking shit about you? Because I did a video called Still Ballin', man. Mm -hmm. And I use all Jay Prince shit. Jay Prince house, mansion, Bentleys and shit, everything. Uh -huh. Nigga, all types of shit that I didn't have. Yeah. And he was rapping about that. Like, you and another nigga car smoking his cigars. And a nigga house, <laughs> doing it all. Like, I'm like, oh, yeah. He was like, he shitted on me. I'm like, ah, oh, nigga. All right, nigga. Like, yeah. you gonna come like that so man i look up the face i'm about to say time. you long, had to be low key honored. i look up you had the to, face hold on you had to low-key be honored just a little bit hell no nah, i was mad Come on, bro. I, I looked it, up it, the face yeah, when i first came to rap a lot i told this face, nigga you're my favorite fucking artist my nigga like yeah, a lot of people yeah you're the artists. reason why i fucking yeah, rap my nigga shit, bro. yeah so it, been it hurt me yeah, nigga i was more hurt like i expect short short going you know you're talking this shit but i ain't never had a problem with face yeah you know what I mean? So what but was face and rap a lot though? had a problem. So I'm oh. rap a lot. Oh, I see. So it's like he getting okay. that rap a lot okay. by getting yeah, at yeah, me. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. was longevity the song? That's when you longevity. About? Hell yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They was they was on the kid helmet, yeah. man. No Frank Ocean, <laughs> man. I'm like, oh uh, man, not face. I yeah. show go do because show talk yeah. about the battle rap that happened yeah. with rap and run and she yeah. got toast by rap and run. Yeah, at least yeah. you know where it's coming from. Right. Why it's and I'm like, yeah, damn, yeah. these niggas they say shit about numb. <laughs> Like, numb is a nigga that said, that's why the town got rid of show. I ain't say nothing about show. Nigga on my helmet, like, nigga, show. I ain't do nothing, man. It's numb. Remember, numb said, that's why the town got rid of show. Now, yeah. Yeah. Show on my helmet. That's why rap and run. Ah, shit. Oh, then here comes face. Good old you in days. a nigga car and smoke your god, nigga. You ain't got no Bentley, nigga. Oh, wow. Oh, Damn. Nigga. All right, bro. But you say, oh, man, let you get him, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, why yeah. you think why you think Jay go ahead and let you Cause they was going at it. Okay. Like face left rap a lot, <laughs> yeah, nigga, yeah. with the death jam yeah. inside Ludacris. He's yeah. doing good. Ludacris yeah. is fucking shit up. Yeah. So yeah, he's doing great and they ain't seeing eye to eye. Nigga, yeah. they ain't cool. So Jay like get him. You know what I'm He like get him. I just I got him. And yeah. then he didn't tell me to stop. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? He's like, oh, nigga, you can't be doing that, nigga. Like, you let it get off. Yeah, like, yeah, I assume yeah. he let it get off because they probably wasn't seeing eye to eye. He yeah, didn't yeah, say, hey, man, sure. go get face. Like, nah, it wasn't nothing like that. Okay. Like, the face and him like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at that time, they had split up. They, yeah, you so don't want to see eye to eye. Yeah. So he let me get it off. You so know? how did you how did you come across signing a rap a lot anyway? How did that you know? Cause you you in the Bay, my nigga. That's Houston. Like, what, right. how did that come? Shout, shout out Seagram. to shout out to Seagram. Seagram, you know the okay. mob. All the mob was already at rap a lot since mm -hmm. the '80s and shit. Yep. You know what I mean? And I did the song with Seagram. Got on his shit while he was still alive. Rest in peace. Mm -hmm. That came out on rap a lot. And um, also <clears> we <throat> label mates. We mm -hmm. all on Virgin Records. Jay Prince had a joint venture with version sure records yeah. so once yeah. we did the five on the shit tone capone blew up so mm -hmm. they hired tone capone to start doing beats with mm -hmm. scarface shit him and mike dean both did the untouchable album yeah dope so, ass album so while they yeah. working on untouchable we all in the same studio together enterprise studio which is like right up the street literally mm -hmm. enterprise studio where all the big celebrities and shit work at when they come to la mm -hmm. different rooms different floors and shit so while they work on face shit, you know what I mean? Why face to be right and they come in the studio, work on our shit, the mm -hmm. Looney shit at the same time, <clears throat> Lunatic Music, our second second album. Mm -hmm. So none was out partying like a rock star. We just got this half a million dollar record deal. I mean, a publishing deal. We just mm -hmm. got this big ass advances from the new album. Mm -hmm. He's out there rock star. So when niggas are coming in the studio, it's just me in there. Mm -hmm. They'd see me in the studio all the time, wouldn't see none. So Jay Prince would come through there, check it out. You know what I mean? Well, you jamming and boom, dip. Uh, weeks later, come back through, you know what I mean? You jamming. Mm -hmm. Boom. We can come back through. He like, man, you doing all this shit by yourself. You need you need a solo deal. Mm -hmm. And me being solid, you know what I mean? I never thought about a solo deal. I'm like, it's loonies. We mm -hmm. a group, you know what I mean? I never thought about a solo deal. And he was like, yo, you, you doing it by yourself. You might as well, because I was just leaving this verse open. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And coming up with the hooks, they singing the hooks and shit, everything. And, you know what I mean? It's like, you doing this shit by yourself, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you smoke a lot. You know yeah. what I mean? That's when we got the monikers, drank a lot and smoke a lot for the second album. He said, you smoke a lot. You need to be out rap a lot. Yeah. I said, yep, you're right. <laughs> so he, li he liked your, your work ethic. Yeah, my work yeah. ethic. He seen me getting it in. He seen he knew I could put an album together by just mm -hmm. seeing me put the whole shit together without none being mm -hmm. it. Period. So 
After that, you know, I was signed to Rap a Lot. After okay. This, after the second Looney's album. You know? So what was that like being on Rap a Lot? Was it different than being on Virgin directly and being with oh, CNH? Definitely. Man. What was the perks that came with being with the infamous Rap a Lot and being under J? You know, that's a whole different type of influence. Man, the, um, just just the um, availability that I had with anything, like mm-hmm. it's still Virgin, so I'm still able to mm-hmm. work with the Doll Pounds, all the people that. All the big people I need to work with, all the big producers and shit I need to work with, um, all the features I need, all the shit I need is just done. Mm-hmm. And I ain't got nobody over my shoulder saying, do this, do that, and here's this, and here's that. Like, CNH was over our shoulder a lot trying to say, do this, work with mm-hmm. that. Like, I chose the producers I wanted to work with. He lined it up and shit, rap a lot. Like, as much as Jay Prince would focus on the artists, he had focus on the producers, too. Mm-hmm. So you got John Beto over there. You got yep. motherfucking... Um, Mike Dean. Mike Dean. <laughs> you got uh, goddamn um, uh, Mr. Lee over there. Yeah. You got... Um, Shit, heard them bad. Was uh was Pimp C UGK over there? That time? Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about the producers. Yeah. You got heard them bad. You got everybody over there. You got the nigga that did all the shit for Ja Rule and them. <clears throat> um, seven. Yeah, seven. You got right. seven over there. You know what I mean? So he had an array of dope ass producers, my nigga. Mm-hmm. Period. So I could just choose from the, the producers yeah. he had. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mike Dean was quoted he had as the creme de la creme, bro. Because Mike Dean's producers. Beast. Mike yeah. Dean is uh, went over there with Kanye. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mike Dean's still doing his thing. Yeah, with Jay and Kanye and yep. shit. Like he's considered. The the best dude that mix and master besides Dr. Dre. Right. Period. And his beats is fucking bananas. Man. Cause Mike Dean plays every fucking instrument. Yeah. He's a white guy. He's a you white guy. A lot of motherfuckers that a don't know white that. Guy He's white. Will make the soulful yep. ass music, yeah. man. So that was the main. I was fucking with Tone and Mike, like yeah. mainly the whole album. Period. Yeah. Cause we smoke and we vibe. You know what yeah. I mean? A lot of niggas didn't smoke. Yeah. Me, Mike, and Tone burning it down. You yeah. know what I mean? Coming up with the dopest shit. Yeah. So um, yeah, just the freedom I had. Um. You know, and that's how I learned how to be independent, you know mm-hmm. what I mean, and, and start a record label. I mean, I've been at the record label started, but run a record label, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, sending invoices and faxes and mm-hmm. shit and, and contracts and shit and, you know what I mean, paying for this, paying for that, So your time. record label was through Rap A Lot or you had that doing something? No, 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 no. I had a record um, record label already because I okay. had a deal at Geffen okay. at first before I went to Rap oh, wow. A Lot with my uh, artist Fats Barcelini. Okay. So I had him at Geffen mm-hmm. and uh, we had left Geffen because they had merged with uh, MC- RCA <clears throat> and some shit like mm-hmm. that. And at that time they had Mary J. Blige <clears throat> and... You know, all the singing yeah. groups, we didn't think they knew what they was going to do with fucking rap. All they had was common. Yeah. So we dipped because we had a mm-hmm. def, uh, deal on the table with Def Jam, Warren mm-hmm. G and them shit. So we dipped. But that shit didn't fall through. So I already had my label mm-hmm. and shit when I went to rap a lot. I had an artist deal. But him seeing me, I started doing this DVD called United Girls of America. Mm-hmm. And I went and got a deal somewhere else. Mm-hmm. And he kind of intercepted the, intercepted the motherfucking deal like this gonna be on rap a lot so yeah. after that he gave me a record a joint venture you yeah. know what I mean like okay nigga you gonna be doing all these extra projects and shit mm-hmm. nigga I'm gonna give you your own deal too so I nice. had a label deal I mean a joint venture deal and an artist, and an artist deal, deal. Yeah. oh that's dope that's mm-hmm. dope the only one besides Scarface that had that deal 